What's up guys, welcome to your 8th 3D Studio Max tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over cloning really quick. And I'm also going to be going over something called arrays. Now I'm just going to do a real quick tutorial because I'm actually trying to hurry up and get into some advanced modeling. Because I want to start building some, you know, UFOs and people. But before I do that, you got to understand what cloning is. So i am uh, got to make a tutorial real quick. So in order to clone an object, we first need an object. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little box. And it's a pretty good looking box. So in order to clone it, and it pretty much means copy and paste it. Uh, but you can't just copy and paste it. You can't just, you know, where's copy and paste? I'm not seeing it anywhere. But what I do see is that I can go ahead and select this object. And I can go to edit and clone. Now what clone means is pretty much just create a copy of it. So let's go ahead and create copy and go ahead and click OK. Now as you see, nothing changes. And that's because what 3D Studio Max does is they put the copy on top of the other copy. Why? I don't know. But it's there. If you move one around, you can see that it's actually there. And another way that you can copy this is go ahead and select it. Hold down the Shift key and do any transformation like move and then just let the shift key go and your mouse button go and now your clone options button pops up and this brings me to another thing what we have here is copy instance and reference what copy means is it makes an entirely different copy that you can do anything to and it doesn't affect the thing that you copied it from an instance if we select this as an instance let me show you what happens it becomes an instance of this object so if we go ahead and change this object right here, let's go ahead and modify one of the properties. You can see that they both change because even though they're two different copies, so to say, they're each instances of the other. So whenever you change one, they both change. And that's different than this one right here. This one was a regular copy. So that's totally separate. So when you put a regular copy, you can modify this in the original one doesn't change. But whenever you have an instance and you modify it, they both change. So remember, an instance is pretty much the same thing in two different locations. And a copy is two totally different things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and delete all of these. Just select them, press delete. And let's go ahead and create another box. Um, let's create this uh, skinny one and make it pretty tall like that, like a big old slit. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create an array. Now what an array is, is pretty much a bunch of duplications of an object. So instead of having to copy that and copy it and copy it, if we could just pick, pick like a button and have it copy like 10 times, that would be awesome. So for example, let's say we're making like a wall with like spaces in it. I don't know. I really don't know. Or dominoes or something. Say we wanted to copy this a bunch of times. Well, copying it could get a little uh, repetitive. So let's go up to a new tool and that's tools and probably should select that first tools select object I'll get it eventually tools array there we go and what this does is bring up your array panel and what an array is is pretty much allows you multiple copies of this so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and click reset all parameters so that way if you have some numbers in here and there and in there just go ahead and click reset and it'll change it all to default again and another cool thing, which I'll show you later, is the preview. But like I said, I'll show you later. So what we want to do is we want to copy a bunch of these along the x-axis. And the x-axis is the long ways right here. So let's go ahead and say, all right, how many, or what this is, is incremental. What spacing do you want in between your objects? And I want mine spaced like 10, 10 spaces apart. And this array dimensions account is how many objects you want well I only want eh, let's say seven so now we have seven object objects spaced ten units apart so what this totals mean is pretty much whatever how far apart they're spread times how many they are that's the total I really don't know why they give you the total I guess if you want to change a total um, distance I mean I don't know just the only two parameters you need are what axis, how far apart you want it, and how many elements. And another cool thing, like I said, I promised I'd tell you, you can preview this 
without having to, you know, go in the, without having to set it firm and press OK. So I preview this and I see, all right, I got my seven elements, but I need them spaced out a little more. So I'm going to go and raise this baby up like that. And look at that. Oh, yeah, that's the effect I'm wanting. So now that, that I, I previewed that, I can go ahead and click OK and set it. So that's where preview comes in handy a whole lot. So that is the basics of how to create an array. So now you see, instead of just one element, I got seven elements or objects. So that is the basics of cloning an object. And again, an array is pretty much a bunch of, a bunch of clones, but you do it all at once. And again, to get to that, that's tools, array. So that's that for this tutorial. Like I said, I'm trying to just give you the basics now because I want to get into some pretty advanced modeling. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you check out my next tutorial and hopefully you subscribe. So again, thank you and I'll see you next time.